This video will be a brief overview of how to set up and use Bamboo Solutions Project Management Central Cloud Part. We have here an already populated Project Management Central Cloud Part since the Cloud Part is so robust and we want to try and keep this video succinct. At the top we have the portfolio name. This is the highest level of PMC. This can be renamed at any time. We also have the ability to nest projects underneath department labels. And here we have pre-made four different departments. You can delete or edit any of these departments at any time. Each department has assigned to it owners and viewers. Owners are individuals who can create and edit any project that is linked to that department and viewers are the same except they can only view. At the portfolio level, you can see all the projects within PMC depending, of course, upon your permissions. We have the projects sorted out by their status. You can also see milestones that are rolled up from projects if you select them to be rolled up to the portfolio level. Same thing goes for issues and risks. At the top, you have a My Tasks button, which will take you to any tasks that are assigned to you currently. On the left-hand side of the portfolio page is our toolbar. This home will always take you to this screen. This addition button, you can add new departments here or you can add new projects here. This calendar icon shows you all of the milestones that are rolled up to the portfolio level using our Bamboo Solutions Calendar Plus web part. It all functions exactly the same as that web part. This gear on the left allows you to manage project creators and it can also allow you to manage existing project templates. This information button on the bottom just gives you an about of our product. Now we're going to look at a project inside of PMC specifically. So to access an existing project, you can click on the name at the portfolio level. We could also make our own, but for time's sake, we're just going to use an existing setup project. So we're going to click on the name and it's going to bring us to our dashboard for this project. This is a new feature for PMC. It allows you to see a snapshot of where the project is at and we have visual aids as well. We again use our Calendar Plus cloud part to show upcoming tasks or past tasks associated with this project. We have a list of project team members and recent updates. We would have upcoming tasks here if there were any. And then there's a brief overview of the project itself. This can also be edited here as well. Now, if you notice the toolbar just got a, a whole lot more complicated than it was at the portfolio level. So let's go over a few of these things. This home again will always take you back to the portfolio level. This icon right here is for the home page, AKA the dashboard for the specific project you're in. So if I would click it again, it would just refresh to the same dashboard. This icon right here takes you to a list of tasks that exist within a project. So here you can edit the tasks, you can create new tasks, you can look at the hours of the project. This also you can see on the dashboard. You can see if there are any start dates or due dates that are overdue, they will turn red. We also have these filterable options up here where you can view the board. This will show you in a planner view all the tasks. You have again the My Tasks button here that shows any tasks that were assigned to you. This also exists at the portfolio level, but this one is specifically just for this project. And then these filters you can apply and they apply to all tasks and My Tasks as needed. Within a task, if you click on a task, you can also add subtasks to that task. So we have kind of a three tiered system. You have projects, tasks, and subtasks. And you can see at the top the breadcrumbs to follow back to where you came from if you need. So that's a quick synopsis of the tasks and subtasks options. Here you have a document library associated with your project. You can upload here. If you click this link, it will open in SharePoint. You can upload there. It'll all be accessible here. You, you can also access it on SharePoint whatever you need. The next icon up is our calendar icon. This will show you all the tasks that exist within the project upcoming and past using our calendar plus web part again. All the features offered by our calendar plus web part are embedded here in the PMC cloud part. This calendar is project specific. The calendar on the portfolio level shows milestones from multiple projects. The next icon is our charts icon. Because this PMC is just a demo PMC, it's not very populated. This isn't um, as extensive as it can look, but this will show you task status and who the tasks are assigned to using a pie chart and a bar graph. And it, can al it also shows you the percent complete of each existing task. The next icon is our issues and risk icon. This is where you can enter in known issues and no risks specific to your project. This is where you will decide whether or not you want the issue or risk to roll up to the portfolio level by checking this box. 
Next icon is the critical path icon. This will show you an overall report of your project and show you tasks that are critical for the completion of your project. The next icon is the settings icon. Um, we have a video specifically for this because it's a little bit in depth and it would make this video a bajillion times longer, but this icon is kind of where you can get into the nitty gritty of how you want things displayed, if you want to add any custom columns or groups and manage the order of things and you can also customize the outgoing email that it gets sent by PMC. And then the last icon here is just our information icon again, which tells you about the product that you're using and the version. So we're gonna navigate back to the portfolio and talk about what we see there a little bit before we wrap up. Now that you know a little bit more about what options are offered inside of a project, what you see on this portfolio page might make a little bit more sense to you. At the portfolio level, you can see any projects that you have access to based upon if you're a viewer or a creator. You'll also see a quick summary of the important things about that project. So here you can see if there is a possible issue with the schedule, if you have any tasks that are perhaps delayed or behind what they were expected to be. You can also see if there are any issues or risks that are causing problems. This project obviously doesn't have any because they have a green check mark, which means yes, everything's great. When you have an issue, you have this little exclamation point like, hey, come check this out. So really at the portfolio level, it's great for any managers who just wanna come in and take a peek and see if anything needs their attention really quickly at this top level view. That was a really quick run through of what our Project Management Central Cloud Part has to offer. This Cloud Part can become so robust and so detailed that it's kind of hard to capture in a snapshot video that's supposed to be a quick walkthrough. So if you have any additional questions about this product, you can always visit our www website to get a little bit more detailed information or you can always reach out for us and we would be happy to schedule a more detailed walkthrough with you.